Hey guys, this is Kobe with MParticle, here to tell you a little bit about how easy it is to segment and activate your audience level data all through the MParticle platform. Before we begin, let's take a look at our event stream and look at what kind of data is flowing into the platform that will be available and easy to segment off of. Here we have a travel app that's already implemented the MParticle SDK, and we can see all the various events flowing into the system. It's important that all of these events are labeled properly and tagged in a way that will make it easy to segment later on. From here, let's go to our segment builder and begin creating an audience. All we do is select the app we want to target against and create the name for it. Let's look at all users who've installed in the past 45 days and haven't become active because we'll want to retarget those folks on different channels to re-engage them. For any audience segment, you can layer in event level, user level, or device level information. For the sake of this audience, let's look at people who've installed in the past 45 days and people who've really only had two sessions in that time frame. And let's layer in the location of where these users are because this is going to be a geo-targeted campaign. Once we've built our audience, we can do two things. We can either save it as a draft and come back to it later, or we can activate it, meaning we're gonna begin pulling a list of users who qualify for this segment. Let's go ahead and activate it. Now that our list is activated, we can instantly send it to any one of these channels as a custom audience. Let's go ahead and send it to Facebook. You can add any Facebook account to this list. For this, we'll send it to my Facebook account. We can send the data now, meaning instantly, and it can be continuous, meaning as users flow in and out of this segment, we will continue to update that to Facebook. We'll do the matching based on email, Facebook identifier, IDFA for iOS users, and Google Advertising ID for Android users. Once we hit complete, this audience will now get sent to Facebook, and all of the users that qualified for it will be waiting in Facebook as a custom audience. Let's take a look. As you can see, the users who qualified for this audience are now right here in Facebook as a custom audience based off IDFA, Facebook identifier, and email. If we wanted to also send this segment to another channel, we could send it right into Twitter. Here's how easy that would be. We would do the matching based on email, Twitter handle, and device ID. From there you hit complete and you'd log into Twitter the same way you did Facebook and you'd be able to engage this audience as a Twitter custom ads audience. If you'd like to find out more about how you can leverage your first party data and instantly target any of your users, let us know and sign up for MParticle at mparticle.com. Thanks.